We're staying in front of 864 Nimitz Boulevard, Lehigh Acres. Today's deal of the day. This video is to show you the current condition of the home that we just acquired. This was acquired through sheriff sale. It's a foreclosure sale. The home is in need of rehab, but it's in very good shape in terms of structure. It's got good bones and uh, is essentially what we call a relatively easy rehab. Let me start by putting stats on the screen. There you go. Uh, this is a very nice room arrangement. It's a newer house as you can see. Uh, it is missing the air conditioning system and the water system, but those are pretty standard. And uh, I'll take you through this in, in the next couple of minutes in this video showing you everything that's detailed that needs to be done. This is an area of all newer homes, a lot of open vacant lots. Uh, new construction is just starting out here in Lehigh. So you're going to see new homes popping up all the way across this area here. Right now it's got beautiful trees, gorgeous place to live. It's a big lot. Take you up here, you got a nice arch entryway, big two car garage. So let's walk around the home and tell you everything we're going to do. First is we're going to pressure wash everything. Then cut all these shrubs back, trim, mulch, put a new side light there. We'll readjust this garage door. Um, that's going to have to get re-glued down or replaced. That's the seal on both sides of the garage. And a new side light here as well. And we are missing the 6 of the 864. We'll have to get some new numbers. Coming down the side here, we'll have to contact the electric company and uh, get a new meter, very possibly a new meter box installed. And uh, also, this is what used to be hooked up to the air conditioning unit, which sat right there. And the copper line set was ripped out from there. So that's going to be replaced with soffit. But the wiring is connected to the home. So that'll save an expense right there. Water system was right here, uh, but it's completely gone, so I'll get a refurbished water system installed. That's a sprinkler head, which means there is a sprinkler system, and the sprinkler box is still intact right there. That's the Rainbird. That's a rain sensor right there. So that's all still intact. Coming back here, these are screens that were ripped out and thrown away for the aluminum value. They pulled all the aluminum off of this back lanai. It does have a nice covered lanai, but uh, we'll have to have a company come in and uh, rescreen that with new aluminum. Very inexpensive to do. Coming over here, here is our well. And we don't know just what damages are done here. We have some broken pipes and stuff, but uh, we can look down there and there's no wiring going down to the well. So that probably means they stole the uh, submersible well pump as well. So that's another additional cost right there to get all this done. And uh, the yard back here, as you can see, it's a nice yard. Nobody behind you, so you got some privacy. Brand new paint job on the outside of the house will go a long ways. Coming around the corner here. Show you every inch of the house. So it's a modern house, modern style. And as far as expenses go, uh, we're putting refurbished water systems in for about 1400 $1, We're putting uh, well systems in for about 1200 so probably have 2500 in the water system. Air conditioning system, those are running around $3,000 installed. Coming up to the nice arch entryway here. This front door is not in the best of shape, so we may go ahead and replace this front front door. We will change the locks on this one here, but pretty good chance we'll just put a new one in. And as we come in, we got what's called trash out to happen. We got vinyl in the wet areas and the carpet in the rest. And we will probably tile the wet areas or just tile this entire living room and just carpet the bedrooms. Paint and new ceiling fans and lights. But it does have soaring vaulted ceilings, which is nice. Big open family room area here. Dinette right there. And a kitchen with a snack bar coming into view. We've got raised white panel cabinets. Here's our front door that we just came in. The chandelier isn't bad, but usually we replace all the lighting. And uh, cabinets are in good shape, except that uh, this cabinet here was removed. It did go right there, and there's the drawer for it. So hopefully we can just cement that back in place. 
center island cabinets right here. And these countertops should clean up very nicely as well. There is a dishwasher. They did leave the insincorator. And the stainless sink should clean up very nicely. We are missing one knob right here, very minor. But all the adjustable shelves are in there. It's a split bedroom design. As we head down here, we do notice that uh, that is off the wall. I believe that's part of the alarm system. I think that's the speaker for the alarm system. You can see a lot of dirt there in the cold air return. So no doubt that has to be cleaned. We have a linen closet right there with ventilated shelving. This is the master bedroom. I do like the lever handles on the doors here. So this is just paint and carpet in here and plugged for a ceiling fan. So we'll put a ceiling fan in here. Looks like the previous owner did add a doorway into the master bath. That's not a bad idea. So we will probably finish that off because they did leave the upper half open. Because normally this house, this is all wide open. It does have dual sinks with the faucets. The mirror is intact. Light bar is intact. It does have side medicine cabinet here. Coming down here, we do have a walk-in closet right here. Shelving is intact. Uh, private stool room right here, which is nice. That you clean up. Got a raised panel and pocket door, fully operational. And right here is our walk-in shower. Tile's in good shape, just needs to be cleaned. So we think the shower will clean up nicely. So that does it for the master. While we're on this side of the house, a little darker, but this is our laundry room right here. It's set up for full-size washer and dryer. That's the box up for the uh, alarm system. Then this comes out to the garage. That is a hurricane strength garage door. Hard to see out here. Um, panel is off as if somebody was in the attic and that was to remove the line set, no doubt. That's where the air handler normally goes. So we're just hoping that the wiring is intact. There's no way to check these prior to sale for the wiring. We'll know when the power gets turned on. But there's our breaker box right here. Let me turn the light on so we can see a little bit better here. Hold on. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. So as we go up here, we're going to make sure it's in the off position. Uh, it does say somebody did winterize it once, so we're hoping that's okay. That's where the water heater was, so I'll have to put a water heater in. And now you get a better view of the air handler, where it, where it was, and up there in the attic. So we'll find out more once we get up in that attic and find out what we're up against. Alright. Yeah, coming through here. We'll head on back through here. And uh, hallway, we've got a linen closet right here. That door is off the track, which is minor. We can fix that. The shelving is all intact. Our guest bath, vinyl flooring, I said we'll probably tile all the wet areas in the living room. Tub's in good condition. We'll clean up nicely, and it has got good tile all the way around. A, a, an atrocious red paint job. That'll get taken care of. This vanity should clean up. Mirror and light bar should also clean up. If not, we will replace them. Somebody did take the tall bar right here off. That's what those holes are. And the toilet paper holder, so we'll have to get new ones for that. Guest bar number one. Just paint and carpet and a ceiling fan is all that's needed. Because all the outlets and everything are in place. It does have a closet right over there. And guest bedroom number two, same thing. The ugly blue color. Smoke detectors are in place, although they're yellowed. When they're yellowed like that, we usually do replace them. Window coverings are in poor condition. We usually throw them out and just uh, put new ones in or just leave the windows open. We'll put a ceiling fan right there. These are walk-in closets. You can see this is a bigger than normal closet. And your fourth bedroom, this is a true four bedroom house. This lime green has got to go. We'll paint that as well. And that walk-in closet there. So the house has some nice features. So, we will start work on this probably next week. If you'd be interested in making an early bid on this property as it is, 
My information is going to come up on the screen in just a second. Otherwise, subscribe to my YouTube channel. In about three or four weeks, you'll see the finished video of this. And uh, if you'd like to learn more about our house flipping program, contact me directly. My name is Dave Detman, a broker associate with Real Edge Real Estate Brokerage and also host of Flipping Florida. We look forward to seeing you in sunny Southwest Florida real soon. You take care and have a blessed day. We'll see you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.